he referred to his memories as the dreams of his waking life. No, it was really realistic, but with a magical feeling to it, so that maybe but, uh, you could call it yeah. more mystical than real. So, but I think they're all like kind of figures from my childhood that I would watch. Like, like one of them stuff. was so they rocks floating around. Was part of I was scenes. in this completely white room. It didn't and seem far when I was standing on the hill. On but as I was running, but it, it only had one further. wheel, like the front of it, and I just like realized covering. it was going to be too far. It's these people that are so engrossed in their own worlds that they're doing comical things, but they're so serious. You just need to find something that's and profound. Sincere about it, and they don't really, they can't really see what's going on and outside of what they're doing. Yeah. I remember finally getting to My turn around. Dream when I was six years old. I finally turn around, look at him. He would disappear, and he was actually walking from like window to window to door to like trying to find a way to get I, but he also contact. had an eye he had like a screw for an Uncertainty eye and, like what's going on what's, and now this and now this and now this like a dream unfold and the lake had no shores beyond the horizon like it's just sort of just a lake and just the been. oddness that and any of this has come about at all that i'd never met before no, like chairs weird but i had complete control you know, over the t-shirts weird and even i mean i felt like but something you know, during the dream utterly i had specific. sherman helmsley in the palm yeah. of my hand like, I could have, at that point, made him agree with anything I, I wanted. are like snapshots. They are like pictures. They're not like a moving memory. Like, I don't remember us doing this thing in an action sense. Like, uh, a feeling that, that courses through your whole body. It's not not even localized in any specific place. It's not a thought. It's not even necessarily an emotion. I, I it's have just, just a general kind of... Like, coffee dream world is more than just, just psychological. And I, I suppose this is debatable, but we, we could say that the girl runs all that crack, phenomenon, all that and I feel that I have to get her back. Is, you know, mind. So I ask her again, are you ready? I ask her again, The force of will ready? with the mind, like, made it happen. It's hard to explain exactly. It's like a breathing and like a, like a, like a, you visualize it so strongly that it happens. It was, it was a very, very strange dream. It was so real. And it, and it, Never, no dream has ever felt so real like it was actually happening. Wait, isn't yeah, is yeah, no, no, I know, no. So you're so like, oh, you're living, I need you're a in something utterly discreet, the color of your socks. A fork. You could reach into that pile and grab a fork, cause somebody had left a fork there. You know, <laughs> even if nobody had ever put a fork it's good there. Good to remember that. You know, we're all still in our dreams. 